Chef Barbara Mitaliano from Goose Valley Natural Foods. Today I'm going to show you how to make a chicken and rice crock pot recipe. Cooking in a crock pot is really easy. You just take out all your ingredients, measure them, and then put them in the crock pot, turn it on, and you're ready to go. I'm going to put in a quarter cup of olive oil, and then I've chopped three chicken breasts into um, you know bite-sized pieces that I'm going to put inside, and I'm just going to let that cook for a minute and then I have um, one tablespoon of chopped garlic, one onion chopped up finely, and one pepper. I'm going to add those in a minute to the chicken, lay it on top. So I'm going to give the chicken a stir and you want to always hold the handle, you don't want to touch the, the rim here because it gets really hot. So I'm going to give the chicken a stir. And then I'm going to add my one tablespoon of chopped garlic. I'm going to add my finely diced onion and my diced red pepper. I'm using a red bell pepper, but if you like heat, you can use a hot pepper, any one that you like. I'm going to give that a quick stir. And then I'm going to add one uh, 28 ounce can of diced tomato. And if you like heat, you can use fire roasted. So I'm going to add that right on top, and then I'm going to add three cups of chicken broth to the pot, and today I'm going to be using a rice and bean fusion, and I'm using, uh, it has a blend of uh, brown rice, red rice, and wild rice, red beans and black beans. So I'm going to add three cups of the chicken broth, and the rice. I'm going to give that a mix through. This is what I love about rice, uh, about crock pots. You just put all the ingredients in. It's so easy. And now I'm going to add two cups of corn. Now, if it was seasonal, I would cut the corn fresh, um, but it's not in season right now. So I'm using frozen corn. That's always my second choice. Give that a stir. And now, I'm just going to season it up. I have a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper that I'm just going to sprinkle on, and then some black pepper and kosher salt. So I'm going to be generous on the pepper. And kosher salt as well. I'll give it one more stir, and then I'm going to set it to high. I'm going to put the lid on. And now you don't—you never want to lock the crock pot top. You just want to keep it open, but just push it down to make sure it's sealed. And then my timer's on. I'm actually going to set it for two hours because I want to check it in two hours and give it a stir. So we'll come back to this later. All right. So here we have our chicken and rice in a crock pot recipe. I hope you enjoy it.